listeners, if you were only here, if you could only see what's happening at this point in time. So big glasses you, can, you, can't, you can't sit down, can you? No, you uh, can't. You can't stay still. It's bouncing, bouncing. So, uh, Tim's given up sitting down and he's now yeah. standing for this. Sitting again yeah, now. I was sitting again now. <laughs> the microphone down, sit, sit down. Tell us about working with the Chemical Brothers then. Oh. Uh, what's it like actually being able to do something with somebody else? I haven't seen it for ages. And they're nice blokes, aren't they? Yeah, they're all right. They're really top chaps. Uh, Life this week, Chemical Brothers, Tim Burch is our uh, guest and co-host tonight on the evening session till 10 o'clock. This is uh, an email from Sean Waring who says, Astonishing gig at the Apollo on Saturday. Are you planning on releasing any live material, preferably a video, because I've never seen anyone better at performing live than the Charlestons, and if so, when question mark cheers Tim and tell Mark uh, thanks for posing for a picture with me outside that pub behind the Apollo he's a top bloke oh, wow it says that's the uh, that's the pub down the sort of valley right, isn't <laughs> yeah. it what what on earth was Mark uh, doing I don't know in I, the I, pub I, I right can't, around I, the corner I can't answer for Mark no uh, okay. uh, the uh, live video thing we've just never got around to doing it and um, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, not something you're averse to. Just ne never sort of sorted it out. At all. Never sorted it out. Yeah. And uh, never sorted out even a singles uh, uh, video video thing. You know, never. Yeah, well, I suppose that's true. Actually, there's no, be there's not been any sort of any of that big video uh, push that no. a lot of bands give it. No. And you must have such a backlog of stuff. We have. Yeah. yeah. Um, when do you, do you do you also do you have people sort of taking you know footage of you quite often? Oh, all, all the time, actually, um, uh, pretty much all the time, and we just sort of never get around to looking at it or even you know sort of like uh, you know stating whether whether we want it or to come out or whether we don't. Yeah. Really, um, I suppose it's, it's a lot of sitting around it doing editing and approving yeah, stuff. Yeah, uh, we don't, we haven't approved anything yet. Yeah. Um, it will be there one day. Yeah, one day when we stop making music, I suppose. Yeah. Um, uh, because I don't think there's anyone going to do it apart from ourselves who's going to approve it or go through it. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, the thing, you know, because the thing was, you, you're not even like a band who actually put out, you know, uh, a greatest hits record. It's always going to be a slightly different take. I'd imagine you'd, you know, do it from a different tangent rather than just just bunging some stuff together on a tape. Bunging stuff out on tape is not the sort of thing that we do. Uh, we, you know, we like to make uh, compilation tapes for people of what we think is the best stuff that we've done. Um, and I guess, like, Melting Pot was, like, the closest it got. Yeah. Um, um, but we, we, I don't know, we just, we're doing stuff all the time that we don't yeah. even, re, yeah. you know, really have, the only reason we did that was because um, we, we was asked to get involved in something that we didn't really want to get involved in and we just said, yeah, we'll do it because it, it'll be the best that it could be yeah. if we got involved in it. Yeah. It ties up a few loose ends. It, it lets you get, up, it lets you get, up get on with the next thing. Loose ends. Go. Let's you get. Let's you go. Let's you go. Go. Go, go. Here's a record which I'm not sure you, you might not have heard this, and you may like it, or you may go, oh no, 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 no I really hate this. But see what you think. Uh, it's uh, Michael Shelley. It's from an LP which is called Half Empty, and this is called Don't. If you're thinking. by Michael Shelley that and I'd like to tell you more about Michael Shelley I but, I really, but I really don't know much about him at all actually it's on Shoe Shine Records so that's not Pete Shelley's brother is it? it's not <laughs> I don't think it is actually that was wicked though but you like that? Yeah. I'll tell you what seeing if you've seen if you got no CDs you haven't had any new CDs recently do you want this one? you can have this you take it away with you you've got what Cindy Walkman or something that's the Michael Shelley album there you go that's don't say you, don't say you don't get anything for coming on Radio 1 now look you've got to tell us about this because uh, I think this is the first time in living memory that we've played Led Zeppelin on the evening session well that's alright ok and what do you want to know about it? Um, when did you first hear it? Um Actually, uh, pro know. you know, uh, probably quite a, quite a long time ago. Um, I think my cousin probably played it to me in in, in the seventies. Um, but I guess I, I, I drummer John Brooks. Um, yeah, it sort of lent me this CD, and uh, <laughs> he played it to me, and I got, I got pretty inspired for it. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, look, we'll play it because I don't think we need to say anything else apart from play it, do we? When you hear it, you'll know why. Oh, 
Oh, it's Led Zeppelin <laughs> on the evening <laughs> session. What are you doing to this programme? Uh, and it's uh, not my flight. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's Steve Lamack. I'm the one uh, sitting here. Tim's the one who's dancing. If you're asking, um, do you, asking do, when you when you're in the studio, you must fidget the whole time, do you? Oh, just getting it becomes a lot easier now to see. I'd imagine what goes on. Yeah, having never seen you doing recording and I, stuff. I, I like to put the records on the, on, on at the moment. I like to put the next one on all the time. Yeah, I, I got you. Keep, keep putting them on. Keep putting them. Keep playing them. You know. You have to, uh, do you so the next one, man. You, okay, okay. Uh, more groove and more questions. If you've got uh, something you'd ask, uh, like to ask Tim Burgess, it's steve.lamac at bbc.co.uk uh, or you can fax us on 0800 100 100. I'm going to play you uh, this next, Out of the Box. This is Out of Our Box. This is uh, Mr. Lift. <laughs> Oh, I've just been told that that's the wrong version because if we keep that running, then we all get in trouble and thrown off because apparently it includes words uh, which are not suitable for the under 15s. <laughs> it's Mr. Liff and it's Farmhead. I suppose you want a copy of that as well, too. We can sort that one out for you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> Like Tim Burgess. I've got to mention actually later on tonight because it's a great night on Radio 1 coming up straight after the session. Uh, John Peel has uh, a brand new session from Elastica as part of uh, his uh, box of tricks later on. Uh, Peely from 10 till midnight tonight on Radio 1. Digital radio from the BBC. It's the forthcoming single from Geneva. It's called Dollars in the Heavens. Steve Mack and Tim Burgess from the Charlesons with us in between all these many dates that you have. You finish one leg and then it's... Is it Europe next and then Japan or is it the other way around? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's Europe, then Japan. Every yeah, Europe, then Japan. Yeah. Then home for Christmas or back? Well, I suppose uh, home is LA now, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, home is uh, Los Angeles and I'll be going back there on the 10th so of how, December. How are, you how are you settled in over there? Was uh, it, uh, well, I haven't yet. Um, just uh, um, a house is going to be finished on the 10th of uh -huh. December so so it's, it's the, the first time I settle in will be then right so is it sort of decoration things going on put things cupboards there I need this and that floor's wrong just skateboard ramps and <laughs> stuff like that really you know that's uh, I'm not bothered about the house it's just like the ramps and you know uh, yeah. a bit, bit of surfboarding equipment like, oh. and plenty, plenty of room to move around we'll have yeah. a groove room in there we can keep going yeah just want to do a bit of sort of like stage diving and stuff yeah so um, what was the biggest culture shock though getting out there I mean, do you, do, was there something that you thought, mm, I don't, yeah, this is, this is well, so I can't, different? I can't, I can't drive as well as I thought I could. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and uh, uh, I think uh, she, she might uh, sort of like agree with you there. Uh, uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I can't, I, I can't drive as well as I thought. I can't drive as well as I thought I could. I suppose yeah. the thing is, you, you haven't had a chance to sort of miss things yet. Did you find them when you first... Started thinking, well, is there something I'm going to miss? No, over there? I, I, I think everything that we have here is there. You know, I mean, everything. They're not very you, know, you know, apart from the stuff that you don't really care about. What, crisps? Baked beans? Um, you, crisps. Soccer. And, and beans are there. Uh, soccer. <laughs> the, Des Lynham. Uh, they don't have that over there. No, they Coronation don't. Have, well, but... I, I mean, I'm not sure whether I really need that no. in my life, really. I'll there's there's Lynham and no. sort of French I'll, I'll fry. I'm scrabbling, I know. Called, really, know. Yeah, scrabbling around. I think I'm just because I'm trying to flog this idea. We should uh, somebody should start this. Um, I think we should all go there. homesick.com, and uh, you could just log on, and it would just have photos of all these things. So people anywhere they went could just have pictures of these things. That'd be well. fine. Okay, so but it's it's and that's that's all fine. Because uh, will it affect? And I've got a question here, and I'm bound to have lost it. When I know Peter Johnson from Bristol, will it affect? You think the direction of uh, where you go musically or lyric wise, LA? Um, I think he, it, it, I'm not it, sure. I'm not sure that he means that you're going to sort of start. You know, you'll have a ponytail or a big, a big mullet haircut or something. You know, and be reborn as a rock band. Well, but apart from that, then no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd, you know, I mean, I, I, no, I, I, I don't think it. I think it'll um, make us sort of um, care about uh, what we do. A lot, you know, a lot more than actually we. That, that, than we have done, mm. you know. I, I mean, I think there's been like um, many occasions where um, 
I say, like, for instance, me and Mark, who, li who did live, like, within, like, two miles of each other, mm. sort of just cancelling when we were supposed to start writing. Because yeah. you can always do it tomorrow. Because you can always do it tomorrow or next week or, you know, to be honest, Tim, you know, I've got so much to do, right? I think, uh, what, what do you think about doing it, like, in about, like, about two weeks' time? Because uh, then I'll be, I'll be all right. It's, uh, well, I think we just have to get a bit more organised, do it. Hopefully the group will explode. We'll... Uh, it, th things will, will happen just, you know, by us getting together in an organised way. But what what about um, when the band goes and does dates in the States? Won't it all be, well, all back to yours then, Tim? Um, well, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Les, I'm <laughs> out. Uh, you know, can't. No, no, <laughs> no one's coming back to my house. Right. Uh, so I hope you were listening. <laughs> uh, this is a, a UK versus uh, US record, or in fact a bonding of uh, styles. It's uh, Bentley Rhythm Ace. This is the brand new remix they've done of the new Beastie Boys single. This is the Bentley's mix of Alive. <laughs> So you'll find that on the B-side of Alive, the next Beastie Boys single, the remix by Bentley Rhythm Ace. Stay for night, Tim Burgess, Radio 1, Very the evening that. session. Very good, that, yeah? Yeah, I loved it. Like yeah. that. Well, do, do you like, um, there's uh, obviously a sort of creativity in some of the re records which uh, you've been nodding your head to. Is it the groove first and then the detail on top? I, I think it's the uh, detail in general, uh -huh. actually. I, 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 thought, I, I just thought that was like, fantastic. Yeah. That, it's, that it, particular tune, yeah? Yeah. That's yeah. good. And here's a couple of questions which I must get through before we go to another one of your tunes which you brought in, which is the Looper record we're going to play in a second. Okay. Uh, which actually uh, links up with one of these. But first, uh, this is Catherine on the email who says, uh, Hi Tim, I saw you on the Priory. Uh, the new Zoe and Jamie vehicle, it says it. Vehicle. Uh, you want a book token, <laughs> what book are you going to buy? <laughs> you got anything in oh, mind? Any... I, get, I gave it away to charity. <laughs> Did you? Bless yeah. you. Okay, so nothing to read on the flight home eventually, or the flight out to Europe for the next tour. Should have kept that, you see. And this one's from uh, Louise on the email who says, uh, when it comes to lyrics, notebooks and biro, typewriter or computer? How'd you get it down on paper? Or hard drive, I suppose. Uh, no, uh, biro, still. Do you have like loads of little notebook things? We just scribble it on. Well, I, I've got a computer papers. and I've, uh, 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 I've got uh, notebooks as well. Uh, but, you know, I generally just sort of like write stuff down on uh, plain paper. A bit of pla plain paper. <laughs> not those <laughs> plain, sort of... Plain not paper, <laughs> ha uh, ha hard, hard bound. Hmm. So L lined? No, not no, lined, just no, plain. Just plain, yeah. Plain. And not like those uh, sort of uh, pads, those letter pads that you used to get for Christmas in uh, gift sets. Nothing no, like that. No. Like proper A4. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah that's it. Shame, you see, if you just said typewriter, we could have gone straight into this record. Well, no, I have got a typewriter. Does it sound like this? It does. Now, that's the start of this next record which we're about to play you. Tell us about Looper, or when you heard this uh, Looper record, because this is one of your choices. Yeah. It's got a nice, this again, it's a nice sort of groove thing. Uh, well, um, Although it's uh, a sort of pop record, isn't it, I suppose? Uh, I, I saw him play at a place called the Troubadour in uh, Los Angeles, and... Um, uh, uh, they, they were just, uh, I mean, um, very unorthodox, but uh, very fantastic. It spoke to the audience in a really good way and sort of communicated really good. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I bought the record. And Are they, they as charming live as they very, sound on record? Yeah, 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 I think so. I mean, um, um, Michelle has to go and buy batteries for the synthesizer because it broke down. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a battery shop next door. Luckily. Yeah, luckily. And, and th I mean, they were struggling on stage. And, and, uh, so there's something about them, isn't there? Because <laughs> we, we played one of, uh, a couple of the singers, but this is on the album anyway. This is, we'll shout out, we'll play the record. This is Looper, and this is Impossible Things number two. If you're a regular listener to uh, this program, you'll remember uh, Bad Ray Suzuki, which is uh, a record of the week on this show from Blooper. Uh, but that's, the, uh, that's another track which is on the album. It's Impossible Things number two. I'm trying to get through this really quickly before I cough. 
But I'm not going to now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Tim Burgess, Steve Lamont, the final half an hour of uh, the evening session tonight. And uh, just go, yeah, you made a friend here, Colin Sutherland on the email. Uh, great to hear some classic Led Zeppelin on the session oh, tonight. Well played. Yeah, yeah. And what do we do next? Oh, yeah. I was, uh, I've got a couple of uh, other questions here. Oh, a couple of uh, messages. Kate Lilly in Sheffield wanted to say thanks for stopping on Sunday to have pictures taken with them in the morning as Tim was leaving the hotel. You made so many friends that, as you go that through. Is Yeah. Yeah. So after playing Manchester Apollo on Saturday. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was in a terrible state that morning. Where? Yes. Oh, end of tour, though, I suppose. And, and it's, uh, yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh, allowed. Uh, That's it's allowed. allowed. Uh, so, approximately, I make this, what, 90 minutes, 90 minutes and 17 seconds into tonight's programme. Uh, you've been here an hour and we haven't played a Bob Dylan record. We haven't. And, uh, so, we're going to make amends now. Yeah, 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 and can I just say that this... Um, song, what, what is it? Uh, Cold Iron's Bound, you're gonna play. Yeah. Is it? Um, that that follows the Looper tune and the last tune that I'm gonna play as well. They all follow this same sort of vocoder idea thing, I think. The, key these, the keyboard idea. Are these things which you've found along the way? It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. How you make connections between records. Yeah, and it, it can do with just like one sort of similar sound that you have yeah. on, on, on one record. And uh, Dylan? Uh, as, yes. a, as a man? Yeah, uh, um, great record, total sense of purpose on this LP, um, his latest one, and, you know, I mean, I, I love the guy, you know, um, although oh, we just, I've just got to post my internet uh, uh, picture we're now, here. We're now waving at the webcam, uh, so you'll be able to see uh, this hopefully later on the Radio 1 website, there we go. Yeah, but uh, getting back to Sir Bob, yeah. Um, Sir Bob? Yeah, Sir Bob. <laughs> Sir Bob yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Praise Bob. Um, this, this great record, you know, Old, old guy, sort of, with a brand new sense of purpose, probably thought he was going to die or something. Mm. Um, and, let's have it. Okay. It's Bob Dylan. So it's the Bob Meister, uh, Mr. Dylan from uh, the album Time Out of Mind from 1997, Cold Irons Bounds. I've got uh, a fax here, Tim, from, uh, what's this from? Uh, Catherine Ellis, who's editor of Isolation Fanzine, on the, on the question of Dylan here. Uh, previously, uh -huh. in an interview some uh, years ago, you said that uh, Love Minus Zero was your favourite Bob Dylan song. Uh, is this still the score? Or, uh, uh, probably difficult? not. Um, uh, um, Do they uh, change every day?